welcome back to more sugar more spice with your girl mandisa thank you so much for joining us first things first let me take care of business shout out to all my subscribers you guys are awesome thank you for the support i appreciate it continue to like and share this video so that your friends can see it and this family can get bigger and bigger and bigger all right let's get into it guys today's video yeah it's about fake friends <laughs> the things we go through it's about fake friends and just you know being able to discern when somebody's for you and not for you you feel me so yeah that's what this video is going to get into a few things that you should be looking for like a few red flags that are going to show you Jorge, this girl or this guy is not for you right um yeah before i get into the red flags i just also like to say guys this is the perfect time with us the more lockdowning we are only with the people that we need to be with in our houses right i know we're deep in the socials because you know we've been yanked away from our normal life and you know we're obviously more present than ever you know and we're making connections with people that we haven't spoken to in a long time because we're bored which that's just my opinion um but this is the perfect time this is the perfect time to see who's there for you and who's not you know who's concerned when you're having those lockdown blues who can tell you know when you're not okay right so use this opportunity while we're in lockdown um how strong are your ties with people the second thing is you know we can't downplay the impact that friendships have in our lives um i don't want to sound like your guidance and counseling teacher can show me your friends right right i'm not going to do that um i'm sure our, like i said our teachers have said it enough our parents have said it enough other friends have said it enough you know friends play a huge role in your life and who you become so you need to be very careful with that you need to guard that because giving access to people who are not going to add any value is a risk that you really don't need to be running you, nobody nobody needs that kind of waste of time life is hard enough as it is okay you don't need people pulling you down for no apparent reason um the third thing is you know rabatona guys um nakal i'm speaking for me i feel like i'm mature enough to discern you know when i'm mature enough to know when my gut feeling is telling me that the vibes here are not vibrating you know um and you need to learn to do that you need to learn to trust your gut rabatona guys trust your gut and be mature enough to say this is not serving me let me cut it off amputate okay save the body cut the foot you know you need to be able to to make hard decisions like that because like i'm saying so let's go straight into the red flags right this is how you spot a person an enemy of progress a person who's not about you ne? they're just never about you and i mean this in the most literal sense they are never about you it's always about them them and what's happening in their life them and what they need from you them and what you need to do for them them and all the things that they need to conquer what about you friendships are supposed to be mutually beneficial we're supposed to be leaning on each other we're a structure okay it's not the broom leaning on the wall no it's supposed to be us supporting each other. So the first red flag, yeah, somebody is not your friend, when you think they're your friend, is they make every single thing about them. Or you can't even have a conversation. You'd be on some, hey, show me, it's king. This month, my budget is as tight as a what? Anyway, yeah, my budget is tight. Huh? the cops are about to go collect me because i got that you know somebody who's always doing that they're always taking away attention from you it always has to be about them and i'm not saying your friends shouldn't have problems but you can't be 
wena o na o tsela di problem tsa ga go didirwa very miniature o didirwa very trivial and then tsa ga go ditsa all the presidents u bizu bula la motho he ba thomba mo di mutse my man these days ha ke motshwari o itse ke ao mutse ke ipotsa go gore are wena o botoka hm go re bile they are always picking the time when you need their support for them to pour a better story go it's like it's a competition of problems <laughs> no, nobody needs that mess, guys. Nobody needs that. When I go to my man, the vibes are going to When I, sister, when are you leaving? Now I'm going to get it. Like, guys, no. That's the first red flag. It's always about them and never about you. In a friendship, there should be a balance. The second thing, they're always raining on your parade. Ne? Hmm. Guys, who's the one about toxic? Banyana ba toxic, guys. Huh? Always. Girl, I got a promotion. Hey, what do you got a promotion? Can I go when I went to the line? Can I go around and go to the line? Can I 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 go to the line? should be able okay to focus on you and your achievements okay they should never invalidate how you feel about anything okay they are your friends not your enemies they're not your coach okay they must stop that's the second red flag if you have somebody who's always raining on your parade making things look bleak all the time making you look at all the negative things instead of the positive sister Cut. You don't need that negativity in your life. Please. The third thing. The third thing. Delish. They are always on the receiving end. All the time. Show me. Where are you? I need 200 bucks. You're at a restaurant. You got this again. Got this all the time. It doesn't matter who you are, guys. Obviously, in a circle, even achievers. Obviously, when somebody is earning more money than the other ones, it's nice to spoil the girls every now and then. But for them to be mapa all the time, mm -mm, guys, no, it's wrong. It's wrong and it's not friendship. It's using people. But who? Lady Gold Digger, Lady Mamadi. Hi, Loro, you are that friend. Stop doing it. Okay? We know you. We've exposed you. Stop it. And if you are always on the giving end, sister, it's good to give to your friends because, you know, some people's language of love is spending and it's fine. But you can't be doing it all the time. You must be able to spot a leech. Speaking of a leech, I've had this experience. Personally, personally, varsity. I had a friend of mine who I appreciate him so much. Ne? I I love, love, love. Shout out to you, base. Love, 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 love him so much. Dude was the language of love. We would spend money on each other. And then Bill comes home, friend, I got it. Come okay, ah, friend, I got it. Come so okay, hey girls. I bought two guineas here. You can have the other one. The relationship was mutually beneficial like that. And we got each other because we were speaking the same language of love. Everyone a third wheel. This is another story, guys. Remind me. Okay, if I go on too long without uploading a video about this girl, this leech girl, go to the Ellen, her name stands for leech. Okay. If I spend too much time because I uploaded this video. Reply, reply on the comment section of the video stating me if you remember and remind me to post the video about the leech girlfriend who I thought was for me who was not for me you know she did everything wrong and she took advantage of me and my friend 
you know you and me are always doing this thing where we're buying for each other but sister said is never coming through and when you're always going over and above doing the most for her basically what i put it is a box of cereal at your room and you know if he hadn't said it i wouldn't have paid attention to it and because i was naive at the time that's the record red flag where she was being a leech but I'll tell you in another video. Anyway, the fourth, the fourth fake friend alert, okay, is a person who doesn't say nice things about you. It's a certain type of person. They will never ever say good things about you. It doesn't even have to be in your absence. Even when we're here together getting ready for a girl's night out. Hey, my girl, when I come, you try too hard. nice. girl, let me fix your makeup. Jose, girl, today your eyebrows, they are, they are not even related. Jose, nice. Just to tear you down. You don't need people like that. And the likelihood of people who are talking trash to your face, talking trash to other people's faces, is very, very high. tearing you down. You are finished. She has literally dissected you into little pieces outside with other people. And guys, words are so powerful. We make, we sort of friends, friends are literally the border around our hearts. The words that they say really hurt because we know these people know us and they know our little insecurities and they know the things that hurt us and they know the things that we're battling with. So when a friend says something bad to you, it's not like, it really, really tears you down. You don't need that kind of negativity. And trust and believe, guys. Trust and believe. Even somebody who is nasty, okay, to other people. She's nasty to you. Know for a fact. that baby girl. But then fresh on the table so you really don't need people who call themselves your friends but can tear you down like that cut it off sis you don't need that amputate you don't need that kind of energy the fifth and the last point when you are touching the fake friends guys they don't challenge you to be better we say cannot call but over toxic yes like people are so so toxic it is so so terrible when you're failing because it makes them feel better about themselves so they won't challenge you to do better they won't give you opportunities to elevate yourself you know whatever do the things mm -mm, guys you don't need people that don't elevate you. You are wasting your energy. You are wasting your time. Friendship is an investment. Your time is money. Your time is very, very valuable. You can't be putting your time into vessels that don't give you nothing back. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. You need people that will push you to be better. People that will elevate you in your life. People that will elevate you in your life. Who will compel you to go over and about the things that you've achieved already in your life. Go and try your luck. Somebody who can say, Sisters, I could go a digital marketing. Google would get their two dollars online and it's from a reliable source. Those are the people that you need in your life. It's saying by long for whenever you believe they're going to prop themselves up. Go in. Go to Babata or only your lowest of lows so that they can feel better about themselves. You don't need that, sister. Chop, chop. Nta. No one needs toxic friends, guys. Rabatona, like I've already said, life is hard enough as it is. We need all the cheerleaders we can get, okay? Shout out to all the friends that are being good friends. Shout out to all the friends by Longhore that are carrying the weight. Bye, Isukur Wotzalaki. Lona by Longhore, let's 
mona really libile really really exposed we don't need you in our lives please mm -mm. no kanye u tsuri ke ningu ka mahatla tot but like i said i'll actually tell you a story time about this girl who did the most anyway thank you so much for watching guys i appreciate it so much if you have any red flags say long one you come across in life and they've helped you scam out who the snakes in the grass are please comment on the comment box below let us know so that thank you again for watching please be sure to like this video comment if you have anything to say share it so that your friends can see it and they can also like and subscribe i will see you on the next video love you love you love you bye